Good morning, the Carrick fan here. So, right, um, right, bit of tra transfer news. Um, right, um, according to Di Masio on social media, he said that Man Manchester United have had a bid of 72 million um, rejected by Monaco. Uh, and Sky Sports News said, um, according to their sources, uh, Monaco said they've had no bids for any of their players off Mbappe. Um, I don't know. Um, he's eighteen. He's a striker. He's a goal scorer. Hmm. Yeah. Um. We're in a catch twenty two situation here. Do we let him stay at Mon Monaco, which would be the right thing, or get him in in case someone else signs him? It's a difficult one to be honest. Um. So yeah. Um. Funny enough, I was watching. Um. Chicharito's goes on MUTV this, this morning. I thought. We should get him back. He's got a year left on his contract that by Leverkusen. He'd cost what, fifteen million? That's nothing in in, in today's market. I, I, yeah, I would try to get um Chicharito back. He's a he's a good signing for us. Um, I see the football version of of the Chucker Brothers are back. Phil Jones and Chris Smalling. Oh dear, I'm gonna say this now. Two weeks too late. Well done, lads. You should have done this way before the injury crisis. You fucking dickheads. I'm sorry, Jose Mourinho was spot on to call them out on Sunday yet again. I'm fully behind him um, calling them out. For the last three years, yeah, three years, we've had the pussy mentality of, of, of some of our players run, running the club, uh, allegedly, uh, getting the manager sacked, allegedly. It's all a fucking mess. Well, it's not a mess now, but it was back then. Of course, the draw, the draws are, have been fr frustrated for United fans, but overall, I am I'm very happy with the progress that we're making. Although I am absolutely, really, 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 really shitting myself ahead of Toronto night's game against Celtic Vigo. Oh God, please, with the love of God, if Phil just Chris Wally play. You can say bye bye to Europa League in my opinion. Oh, for fuck's sake, just don't play him for fuck's sake. Honest to God. But uh, yeah, I see Ronaldo scored another hat trick in the Champions League last night. Yeah, I I don't I don't generally don't get the slander in terms of Ronaldo. Yes, I might be biased because he used to play for United, but we are lucky. We are lucky in a way to witness Ronaldo and Messi. Regardless of, of what team you you support, it it, it it's great pleasure and joy to watch um, to the all time greats play in this era as well. I don't think we'll see the likes of him ever again, in my opinion. But um, so yeah, Dumb and Dumb are back. Phil Jones and Chris Wallen ahead of tomorrow tomorrow night's game. Although I don't think they'll play. God, I hope not. Fucking hell! Could you imagine him play playing them bloody? Swallow make a mistake, I swear to fucking god. Please no. Um what else has been happening? Joe Hart's name's been mentioned again. I was watching um United the Press on MET this morning and they talk about him and I was like, oh god. For me I I did mention three possible replacements for David De Gea, but I was thinking this morning if that if David De Gea does leave eventually <laughs> Why not give um, Joe Pereira a chance? He's young. He's, he's a keeper. Does have the potential to be one of, the, one of the world's best. So why not give him a chance? If you don't give him a chance, he he won't learn anything. But yeah. Um, also on a very on a very serious topic, I want to discuss. Um, Aaron Lennon has been detained under the man, ma mental health act. Um, regardless of how m much he pays, money can't buy him happiness. Um, apparently he tried to kill himself was it Sunday I was like Jesus Christ he's only 30 now every time we, we used to play Spurs he, he used to go get several I was like oh god he's going to beat him for pace which he did most of the time but um, yeah mental health ain't a joke it's, we have to remove the stigma from it the more people talk about it the more people will understand it and and in terms of in terms of that, yeah, they'll understand it more and 
get a better rationale of it, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I hope I hope, I genuinely hope he gets better soon. And yeah, I I I was genuinely shocked when I heard about that. So yeah, um, I see David Moyes' future is uncertain at Sunderland. <laughs> Great bounce, ah oh, wanker. Does it, Deserves everything he gets at like Jude Gollum, prick. Absolutely deserves it. For the shit he cost my club, wanker. That's a wanker of the highest order. I generally, I generally don't, don't know what Fergie saw, saw in him to be a uh, manager, to be honest. Absolutely pathetic of a, of a appointment that was, but uh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I think Eric Bailly is in training, training as well today, which is... Fingers crossed, fantastic news. For me, for me, he's been one of our best signings, and um, he's been a surprise as well uh, because I didn't know a lot about it, about him. And um, yeah, so overall, despite Sunday's result, um, I'm happy with the progress that we're making. And if I was to name my player of the year in terms of United right now, it'd be Antonio Valencia. He's been the beast, and the Herrera, Juan Mata, Slatan. And hmm, shit. Herrera, Slatan, Mata. Right, Valencia, Slatan, Herrera, Mata. Oh bugger! It, I'll give it to Bay as well. They they would be my five contenders. It, 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 it's been a nice change from Dav de Gea winning it for. For three years in a row, even he did want to win. I'm sure I read in an interview a couple of weeks ago that he did want to win it for the fourth year in a row, which I don't blame him to be honest. But uh, yeah, so uh, right, you could see me at at Cardiff United. Subscribe to my channel, Cardiff Fan. Comment below that video. Adios.